Hey, how are you guys doing today? Thank you so much for joining us um, as we continue to look at families of faith. And today we're going to look at Zechariah um, and, uh, and, and him and Gabriel. And so Zechariah is a priest and he's serving in the temple. And all of a sudden the angel Gabriel appears to him and delivers him a message from God. This is an incredible story. Could you imagine just sitting there doing your job and all of a sudden an angel shows up? But he asks one question that I think we can all relate to, and that question is how. And I don't know about you, but a lot of times I will have doubt in my life. You know, and it doesn't always come from God, but there's sometimes where I just have doubt when people tell me things like, hey, we're going to do this. And I'm like, well, how are you going to pull that off? Or, or, or how is this going to happen? Or how are we going to come up with the money for this? Or how are we going to get there? You know, there's always a question of how. And I think that when it comes to the relationship with God, sometimes we bring that question into play. God, how are you going to make this happen? I don't really see this. How is it going to work? And that's the thing that Zechariah asks is, God, how are you going to make this happen? And so we're going to pick up our story in Luke 1, and this is 18 through 20. Zechariah said to the angel, how can I be sure this will happen? I'm, old, I'm an old man now, and my wife is well along in years. Then the angel said, I am Gabriel. I stand in the very presence of God. It was he who sent me to bring you this good news. But now since you didn't believe me, believe what I said, you will be silenced and unable to speak until the child is born. For my words will certainly be fulfilled at the proper time. Now, Zechariah, he, he gives this encounter and he asks Gabriel, how is this going to happen? How is this going to play out? You know, I think it's a very honest thing that Zechariah has doubt because he's looking at it from the perspective of himself. And he's, what he's saying is, look, I'm, I'm older in age. My wife is barren. There's no way that we can make this happen. But what the problem was, Zechariah was looking at his own self. See, a lot of times when God gives us something, it's something that we could never do on our own. It is a mission. It is something so that's so much greater than what we could ever obtain. Because Zechariah, he didn't understand this was not going to come from him. This miracle was going to come from God. The second point I want us to look at is heard. Zechariah was heard by God. His, the, the, his initial reaction when Gabriel shows up is fear. You know, an, the angels, a lot of times we think of angels as kind of like, you know, they have these feathers and they have these wings. But when, anytime you see an angel show up in the Bible, people are terrified. A lot of times it even says that they wanted to die because they're so afraid. So Zechariah has this moment where he's terrified, and he's afraid, and, he's, and, he, and his response to Gabriel is fear. But he says this in Luke 1.13. But the angel said, don't be afraid, Zechariah. God has heard your prayer. Your wife, Elizabeth, will give you a son, and you will name him John. You know, it, his initial reaction is fear, but what he says is, look, the reason that God is blessing you with this is because he has heard your prayers. And here's what I want to tell you today. You know, maybe you have some things that you're afraid of. Maybe you have some things that you've been going through. Listen, God wants to hear your prayer request. The reason that this blessing came to Zechariah was one, they were faithful to God, but two, it's because they brought their request to God. God hears our prayers. And the third thing is this, it will happen. It will happen. You know, I love that Zechariah comes and says, look, here's all the reasons this is not going to happen. I'm older. My wife is barren. You know, maybe sometimes God tells you something or God brings something to you and you're like, God, let me tell you why that won't work. But I love Gabriel's response. Look, Gabriel's saying, this is going to happen, not because of you, but this is going to happen because God said it's going to happen. You know, at the end of the day, we need to remember that we serve a God that when he speaks, it happens. You know, you think about creation. God spoke the world into existence. It was from his words that brought life. So if God speaks something, and I love what it says at the end of the, our verse, it says that at the proper time, my words will be fulfilled. If God says it, then it is going to happen. And for us, it's we cannot have doubt. You know, you see what happens with Zechariah. He ends up doubting God. Now, God still fulfills his word, but he silences Zechariah. And I think we could take a lesson from that. You know, sometimes we need to silence the doubt. 
You know, God was saying, Zechariah, I know you don't believe this is going to happen, but I'm going to silence you so you cannot speak doubt over this anymore. You know, one of the things that I, I have to challenge myself with is that whenever I do have doubt, to not continuously vocalize it. Because what will happen is that doubt will become a mindset. And we have to turn our doubt into faith. We have to have a mindset that says, okay, if God spoke it, I'm going to believe for it. Even if I don't see how, I'm going to believe that he can. So I have a couple application points for us today. The first one is this, is that God hears your prayers. You know, if you have something that's on your heart, a desire, a burden, whatever it is, know that you can take it to God and that he hears you. And the second thing is this, if God has spoken something over you, believe in faith. Man, don't give up. I know that it's so easy to fall into that temptation of God, how, God, when, God, why. But man, let me tell you, if God speaks it, he's going to make it happen. We just got to keep believing. God, thank you so much. I pray that for everyone who's listening to this, Lord, that you would be with us, Lord, that we could be comforted that we have a God that hears us, that we have a God who is working on our behalf and a God that is moving. Lord, we just want to trust that if you speak something over our lives, that God, you will do it. God, give us the faith to believe for big things in our life. I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. 